There they. So it is Sunday fun day. And today is fun day not just because I get to go to church, but today is the very last day of hunting season. So we are going to go get some Jesus and then hopefully go get some deer. Doe a deer, a female deer. So also remind me later to let's talk about this really interesting text conversation that I got between me and my buddy, 26 minutes until church starts, so I think church shenanigans. What? I don't know, put like rap songs in there instead and just <laughs> see how many people start singing them. <laughs> I'd be surprised. <laughs> you can always tell when I'm getting close to Stephanie because things just get real loud. Oh, so what you were hearing 500 yards down the hallway over there Hi. was this. Hi. Let's see if I can find some hot people around here. Found them. <gasps> so that was a real serious moment, but I swear it looked like he was praying for that pack of gum in his hand. <laughs> this pack of gum, God bless this guy. I just had to run back into the bathroom because the biggest fear ever that you ever have if you have to be on the platform as a man make sure that your fly is not down my fly was down but i caught it quick i caught it quick it's okay No, wait. <laughs> Let me just show you. Hold on. Here. There's nuggets in here. Nuggets will be done in fun. <laughs> Dino. <laughs> Dino nuggets. Nuggets will be done in five minutes. Here, here are his side dishes. <laughs> the boy loves cheese. Today's menu is four nuggets, four blueberries, and a handful of grated cheese. Do you have that? Yeah, Shauna. What? Grilled chicken, asparagus, broccoli, and cauliflower mashed potatoes. If you were a good mom, that's what... Okay, okay, after starting to film that entire conversation, I realized this needs to be its own separate video. So I took this clip that you're about to see. These are the highlights of a full conversation. I'll try to post that video first. If I do, there'll be a link in the description, but here is clips of part of a conversation. I, I need you guys to hear this really quick and I'm probably gonna take this portion and put it before I ever say any of this. I want you guys to understand <clears throat> that I'm just kind of talking this out. I'm not trying to say this is real, this is, or this is like the absolute truth. I've studied it, I know it, you can believe this. Here's the scripture to back it up. I'm just kind of talking about a conversation that me and my buddy had. Like this isn't, I don't know all of this to be 100% true. However, here we go. But it makes me think about the men and women, like the generals of faith that came before us. Did, did they make decisions or did they, like, did they walk in something that everybody has the ability to walk in? or were they favored? And here's where this is really hard for me to hear because the, my, biggest, my biggest problem with wanting to accept that idea and that theory, and I'll remember to get into the scripture part of it, is the idea that, well, some people are just anointed to do that and some aren't. And I have a problem with that in some areas. In, in some areas, I get that we're not all called to be a pastor. We're not all called to lead, to shepherd a flock. I understand that. We're not all called to stand on stage and to divide the word and to preach sermons. I, I, I completely get that. However, if anybody has Christ on the inside of them and anybody from the street walks up to them, they should be able to share the gospel. They should be able to clearly say, this is the gospel and lead somebody in the way of Christ. I don't want to say, oh, that's just not my calling, whatever, you know, like in and get to heaven and realize that God wanted me to operate in that all along. I looked at other people and I said, oh, well, that's just their gift. That's just their calling. And, you know, and I end up, I get to heaven and God said, uh, no, like I gave you my spirit. You have the ability to do that. You know, you could have walked in that gift and operated in that gift if you would have pursued it. We may not all go into 
battle. We may not all step foot onto the battlefield, but I feel like we all have the ability to be able to draw our weapon and fire our weapon just as accurately as the one standing beside us. Has God called each and every one of us to be on the battlefield? Absolutely not. But I believe we all have the ability to carry the same cool tools and to, and to be as accurate with our weapons as any other guy. To say, well, God gave this guy this weapon and the ability to use it more than me, I, I'm just not, honestly, I'm not sure about that. All right, I'm about to put my boots on and go get my blind. Unless something interesting happens tonight, this is probably gonna be the end of the vlog. So, hope you enjoyed the conversation. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so something exciting happened, but I don't know how much of it I'm going to be able to film. So I'll film as much as I can because the sun is already set. It's getting dark, but something exciting happened.